Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well. So today I'm going to show you how to apply for a visa for Saudi Arabia, either if you're planning to go for Umrah or just going tourist. So tourist visa also allows you to perform Umrah as well. You are not allowed to perform Hajj with this visa as there is, there's a separate visa for Hajj. The tourist and Umrah e-visa is valid for one year and it's a multiple entry visa. So an e-visa or a visa on arrival can only be applied if you are from an eligible country. If you go to this website www.saudia.com so that's s-a-u-d-i-a dot com select plan and choose v umrah by saudia visa so this will give you all the guidelines for issuing an umrah visa hajj visa or a tourist visa and if you go back to plan and go to visa so on the e-visa, if you select eligible countries, it will bring a list of all the countries which are eligible to apply. So if you are a national of one of these countries, um, you can apply for an e-visa or a visa on arrival. So all the countries in Europe, North America, Asia, Africa, yeah, Oceania. So if you go back... So if you go on to the visa on arrival section, this explains that tourists can all, can apply for a visa on arrival at one of the Saudi Arabia's entry points if you meet conditions of either being from a country on an eligible country list. The tourist must hold a USA to United Kingdom on Schengen visa. So the visa must be valid is either a tourist or business visa and the visa has been used at least once and has an entry stamp of the issuing country and the holders of a permanent residence from U US, UK or EU after ensuring presence of the residents, which includes the first degree relatives of the visa holder coming with you. So if you are not from one of the eligible countries then you can apply for a visa through the Saudi embassies and consulate and this will help you locate the nearest embassy. So if you click on this link and you'll be able to find your nearest embassy on this site. So, so back to go this. back. Also, just to note, if you're going to um, get a visa on arrival, you can only pay by credit card or through MADA. Um, there's, there's notes at the bottom of this site. So I'm going to apply for an e-visa. So select e-visa. You'll be taken to this website. Um, so if you already don't have an account, so create an account. So you just type in what kind of passport you have. A regular passport, your nationality. So I'll scroll right down. So I'm um, United Kingdom. Um, and put your details, and then next, and that will create. So this will bring you onto this uh, registration page. So just enter your details: your first name, your last name, mobile number, email, confirm your email, and select a secret question and answer. And your password and then that will register you so i already have an account so i'm just going to go and log in so this will bring you to a, a page where it's asking for verification so select send the verification code and then this code will be sent to your email address so enter the verification code that's been sent to your email address submit so once you're on this page um, you can either apply for an individual or for a group so going to apply for an individual so once you arrive on this page you can either apply for yourself or for someone else so if it's for yourself you click yes if not then no upload your picture if your picture is not accepting on your laptop or desktop then try uploading it from your mobile phone because that's what happened to me it didn't upload on the laptop but then on mobile it uploaded with these so fill in the rest of your details your nationality your name um, gender marital status date of birth country of birth, um, date of birth, your profession, and your address. So I'm just going to fill these in and be right back. So once you've filled in all your, uh, your personal details, you'll come to the passport travel page. So um, you just need to fill in details. So your passport type, passport number, uh, where it was issued, issued date, expiry date. And when you expect to arrive um, in Saudi Arabia and the expected date of departure. Um, so purpose of the visit. So if you're going for an event, 
family, relatives, leisure, umrah. Um, so if it's more than one, you can select it. So it could be leisure and umrah. Or if you want to see family as well, you can even do all four. After that, you can fill in your communication preferences. So it's your email, um, your phone number. Um, and then the residence address in Saudi Arabia. So if you're staying in a hotel, um, then it would be commercial accommodation. So the name of your hotel, um, contact number and email if you know it. Or if you're staying with the relatives, then their personal um, address and name. So once you've selected all your passport travel details, then you come to the medical insurance. So this is a one fee for all. Um, so by checking this, that you agree to pay 180 Saudi Rials for um, covering your insurance. So next, and um, this is your terms and conditions. So just make sure you read through all your terms and conditions. Um, select how read and agree to all. So then you'll come to this section um, to review your application. So check all your details, it's all correct. Um, and make sure that you're doing it within time because there's a, um, a time minute on, this, on the left hand side. Um, so once you have reviewed everything, um, then you'll come down to here, which would be the uh, your payment method. So for the Umrah visa, including all your fees, it's 534. 98 Saudi Rials. So confirm that and then agree and complete payment. So there are different types of methods of payment which is listed over here. So once you're ready to pay, select agree and complete payment. And then that will be your application complete. So once your application is completed and the payment has gone through, um, within seconds um, the visa will be granted. So you come to this page and right at the bottom um, it will give you your application number, your name, your visa number, uh, when your visa is going to expire, status of its, um, if it's pending or if it's been granted and then over here you'll have your visa and you'll have your visa policy. Um, so make sure you print that out and that's how easy it is to apply for a visa. So if you like this video and found it helpful please do subscribe to my channel and uh, click on the icon to be notified of all my upcoming videos. So I will be creating daily vlogs on my Umrah journey. So inshallah, I will see you in my next vlog. Allah, please take care of yourself and your loved ones.